Hey everybody, it's Faith from Ferris and Tara. Hope everybody's well. So, it's a Friday night. I worked for about ten and a half hours today. Um, I don't feel like doing housework. I feel like reading cards. And this weekend is my son's 12th birthday party, so not gonna have a lot of time to do it tomorrow. Probably not gonna have a lot of time to do it Sunday, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, um, all signs energy check that I was talking about the other night. I'm, I think I'm feeling up to it. Shouldn't take too terribly long. I'm just going to throw down a couple of cards for each sign. So we'll see how long it ends up being. I'll time stamp it and stuff so you don't have to sit through all the readings unless you want to. I mean, if you like looking at my pretty face that much, by all means. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to tip down. We're going to say the blessing and we're just going to go into it. <laughs> Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, thanks for coming down and hanging out with me tonight. Please give me the clarity of heart and the peace of mind and vice versa to spread the blessings that you've given to me onto all the signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as we go around the wheel. Maybe bring them their highest good, put them on their highest path. Let's do this. Aries. What's going on with Aries? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Oh, for Pete's sake. Come on. You don't feel like talking tonight? That's what I thought. Thinker. We'll save this one until the end. Thinker, number 44. Maybe 44 is significant to someone out there. Maybe you've been seeing that number a lot lately. 4 plus 4 is 8. It's the card of communication. Moving on. Putting work into stuff, cagey your own thoughts. I guess it just depends on um, what we're dealing with. Thinker strategy, being analytical and logical. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct, for this is the moment. There is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple, and you will win the game of life you're playing right now. Okay. Let's dig a little deeper, shall we? Do I want to... You know what? I'm just going to go... I'm going to go with heaven and earth. Why not? Why not? Somebody overthinking something? I just caught that. Ten of Pentacles reversed came out. Oh. Oh. And the Nine of Swords. You're overthinking something. Money troubles. Anxiety. Five of Cups. Sadness. Bottom of the deck, the fool. I only dig so deep. Clarity, friends. Clarity, shall we? Something financially didn't work out. It's causing anxiety. It's causing sadness. Page of Wands. Huh. That just kind of flew out. Queen of Cups. Oh, I know where this is going. Oh, I have a feeling I know where this is going. Wait, 
page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Here's the good news. Could be something new coming in. Could have the potential to be something withstanding, slow moving, just so you're aware. Gonna take a minute. You gotta resolve this first. So stop overthinking it. You have all the information. Process whatever emotions you need to process. This was not your fault. We got a page going up against a queen. Just throwing this out there. Maybe the sex was good and decent. If we're going there. All things in all fairness, possibly being vice versa. Whoever's whatever, place yourself wherever you see fit. Somebody spent a lot of money and a lot of time and had a lot of emotion and filled a lot of cups for somebody who only wanted one thing. It's okay. No worries. There's something better coming. But you got to get your head back on right. You got to get your head back on right. Because you're in this mode right now. You need to flip this back up in the upright. But you got to process wherever you got to process. Don't ignore whatever feelings are associated with this. Please don't, because healing is important. Don't ignore the healing process. Oh, God, soulmates. Love it when this card comes up. 41. Here's the icing on this cake. This was supposed to happen. There's a lesson in here for one, y'all. You know who a soulmate is, right? Soulmate is someone that comes into your life to teach you a lesson, or you're supposed to teach them a lesson, and then you're supposed to part ways. This was supposed to happen. Harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. A relationship fostering personal growth. There you go. You aren't Sorry, you are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter into... Oh, my God. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them. And sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially, too. Soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life only for a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. Did you hear what I just said? Are you processing it now? I know it hurts. I know it sucks. Don't ignore these emotions. It's meant to teach you something. Is the lesson going to be obvious? Maybe not in this moment. It'll come to you. It'll come to you. Don't worry about it. Okay. Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. Okay. That's a good read, Aries. That's a good read. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And we're going to put these guys like in the middle of the stack. Oh, I might switch it up a little. Taurus. Oh, gosh. Now i got to remember the zodiac signs. Whoa. Hi. Okay. To be fair. Don't even let me shuffle. Just throw one out. Okay. <sighs> you know what? We're just going to keep going with the heaven and earth. Just going to keep going. Why not? If it gets tired, it'll let me know. Talk to me for Taurus. What's going on with Taurus?
the world reversed. Oh boy, here we go. <sighs> Six of swords reversed. Oh crap. Oh crap. This is okay. It's gushing a return story. Something coming back to you. Unfinished business. Something coming back. Ace of Wands. Wonder what they're coming back for. Two of Swords reversed at the bottom of the deck. You are not going to know what to do with this when it comes along. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to stop before I clarify and actually read, to be fair. <sighs> Number 38. Before we go any further, I'm getting ahead of myself. Number 38. Balance. Justice. I need to consider options. Mutual benefit. The law of cause and effect. Like other ex experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing yet over time they strike a balance life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing yet over time they strike a balance process what i just said you move from being from stasis to doing from discovering to loving to letting go to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment, and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Oh, and the pendulum swings back. Clarity for Taurus, please. <laughs> oh, boy. Crossroads, crossroads, two of wands on top of that world card. And the magician in the reverse. He's a tricky little devil. He is when he's upside down like that. He's, he's tricky. He, he plays mind games. He plays mind games when he's in the reverse. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. The Hierophant. Oh. Oh. Well. Huh. Before you panic, one, this is your card. Two. Yes, the Hierophant marries people. But that's not his only job in the tarot. He's also lead counsel, teacher of life lessons, and he's not marrying two people. He's teaching right now. It's two monks. It's two monks. This, this is teaching mode. This is teaching mode. I need one more on the Hierophant. One more on the Hierophant. I think some of you, oh boy, where'd it go? For real? Oh gosh. Hold on. It slipped out the deck and it went where I can't reach it from my chair. And now I got to find it. Hold on. Oh, really? This is slightly embarrassing. Hold on. Do, 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 do. You get to look at my unmade bed, my basket of laundry that I don't want to fold. Hangman reversed. Oh, That's fun. I like that. Kinda. You got to get yourself unstuck, sweetheart. Oh, here's what that is. It came back because you never cut it loose. Why is the magician reversed here? It came back. 
came back because you never cut it loose. Did you manifest a return? You know, the universe is always listening, and sometimes years can go by. Five of Wands, Eight of Swords. Somebody came back to stir the pot. One on this Two of Wands. I'm not going to get too overly involved in this. But whatever this is, you got a choice to make. But you got to take the blindfold off. You gotta take the blindfold off in order to make that decision. There's an opportunity for a new start here. The question is, oh gosh, seriously, do you want it? For real. <sighs> twos, 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 choices, returns. Oof, oof, oof. All right, bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus. So here's the deal. Mm, what's going to fruit out of this? Just got to ask yourself, what's going to fruit out of this? But you got to take the blindfold off. All right. Give me a rounder out of the wisdom. I should have pulled this first. Taurus, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Come on. Come on. Oh, hi. Hello. Thinker. I just, just read this for Aries, but hey, that's fine. I'll read it again. Maybe somebody skipped that. Strategy, being analytical and logical. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct. For in this moment, there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life you're playing right now. Keep it simple. You have the information. But you got to ask yourself, is this going to grow? Why did you come back? Strange. Very strange. Okay. Heaven and Earth Tarot says, no, I want to do more. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Gemini. 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 Milk and honey. One to go. No, I didn't see it. Gemini gets bonus. Milk and honey. Number 51. The taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. You've entered a sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. It's an, in, it's an interlude that feels more languid than ambitious when all your senses are awake to the unlimited possibilities in the universe. These times are precious and only come when you're in your authentic zone, wearing the world as a loose garment, not wanting, yet able to be nourished in ways both tangible and subtle. Abundance is an energy that you are a living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. Well, good for you. That's positive so far. What's going on? Knight of Cups reversed.
The lovers reversed. Oh my. One more. Good grief. Seven of Swords. You pulled energy back from something. Pulled energy back, decided not to move forward with a connection. I don't know what that Seven of Swords is about. I'm usually not a fan. Knight of Cups. This is a card of being emotionally neutral or emotionally incapable. <laughs> um, or being afraid of one's emotions. Two of Swords reversed. That's indecisive energy. Didn't quite know what to do with the situation, possibly, so you pulled your energy back, or somebody pulled their energy away from you, or possibly a little bit of both. Three of Swords, Nine of Swords. That's heartbreak and anxiety. Why is Seven of Swords here? Why is Seven of Swords here? Six of Pentacles. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Why does somebody always have to come out on top? I feel like whatever this was, it was mutual. But there's something shady. Shady behavior. Maybe you intend on returning to this, or you feel like they intend on returning to this. There's heartbreak and anxiety here. I feel like in the moment, it was just best to walk away and start working on self-nourishment, nourishing yourself, working on you. This almost feels like a, you good? Okay, I'm good. Like, trying not to be overly emotional about it. I don't know what's up with that. Poised and a leg up. Okay. We'll read poised first. Number 48. I will have to pause periodically for coffee. I mean, when I'm, I usually go to bed by 9 o'clock at night, and I know I'm going to be at this for at least another hour. All right. Poised. Being ready. Bringing something to light. Being at your best. Confidence. You can be assured that you are ready for anything right now. You know what you need to do. Your skills are sharp. You've come to this place armed with wisdom and knowledge. And you sense a new phase of your life about to begin. People respond to your confidence and trust you. This is an auspicious time to begin new things. Okay. Not bad. Thirty-four. A leg up. Receiving help. Delegating authority. Interdependence. You come to a point where going it alone is no longer optimal for you. Life is a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with who give you a leg up during this next phase on your journey. Hell comes to you in all the areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept that aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence to commingle, miracles happen. Now is such a time. Okay. I don't know who that's for, but obviously somebody needed it, so...
Good deal, Gemini. All right. Cancer. Serendipity, number 18. Opportunity aligned with readiness. The awareness is synchronicity. Luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols, a magical alignment of events. You've stepped into alignment with the greater good. Where your dreams and the collective dream resonate in exquisite harmony. Now is the time for luck and preparation to meet and create miracles that you could never have planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel for providence right now. As a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the whole world. Your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Everything you bring into being now will leave a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile for spirit loves you so very much. What's going on, Cancer? Princess of Pentacles. Hmm. Hmm. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. If there's unfinished business, it's about to be finished. Why is this Princess of Pentacles here? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, the Fool, the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Oh. Possibly someone who could not decide before has made a decision to come toward you to take the leap. Why is the world reversed here? Two of cups, five of wands. One more on this five of wands. Nine of Wands and the Chariot. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The moon decided to show itself. Mm, wow. Bottom of the deck. Four of Cups. You're not taking. You're not taking the cup. You're, that, that's, that's hesitation. There's your card, Cancer. Scorpio's here too. Uh, there's confrontation. There's walls. Why the chariot?
Judgment reversed. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> there could be too much distance. I feel like you you buried this and never planned on resurrecting it. You've gone farther on the journey. You've moved on. Maybe you've met someone already. Maybe it was too confrontational. Why is death here? Why is death here? There is a time and a season. The love is reversed. Ace of Wands. Old things shall pass away and new things shall begin. I'm not going to reiterate that on, any, on that anymore, Cancer. You know what's going on. Come to the edge. The universe can be so cryptic. Somebody needs the message, though. It's going to make sense for somebody. Courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated to feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step to the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm going to pause, go grab some coffee, and we'll kick off with Leo. Hang tight. I'm sure YouTube will throw up an ad or something. Okay, I'm back. All right. Got some coffee. Reset the decks. Oh, Leo. Okay. Deep knowing. Nice. I get one. All right. It's a little bit faster if I do it this way. I'm just going to try not to look at it. <clears throat> All right. Deep knowing. We're 43. Intuition, listening to the oracle within. Empathy, empathy, hypersensitivity. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into dialogue with source, the consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to access their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of the human experience. You're given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind of the five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then to act accordingly. You're now invited into this sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive the answers from unusual sources. My ex-husband's a Leo. Just throwing that out there. Okay. Talk to me for Leo. Three of Wands. Princess of Swords in the reverse. Oh. 
Yes. A seven of swords again. Nine of cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Okay, talk to me. Why is the three of wands here waiting? Where's the ship? I'm standing here in the hot sun waiting for this ship. Where is it? Oh gosh, you're waiting for a ship to come back. Okay, Leo, this is going to bring us into a lecture about happiness. You understand that you got to fill your own nine cups, right? You can't rely on other people to do that for you. I think deep down you know that. Somebody's having a conversation with Source. Somebody wants somebody back. Do you really? I, I know you miss them. But I feel like when and if they do come back, this is going to lead us into the reading between the lines stuff. The stuff you missed when the story was told. Because if the Princess of Swords is speaking at all, she's telling you stuff that you either don't want to hear or she's lying through her teeth. <laughs> Why is Princess of Swords reversed here? Anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. You know what the truth is. You already know. Why are you all up in your head about it? Why is it keeping you up at night? You know what the truth is. Is it not wanting to face it? One more on that nine of swords. Ten of wands. Drop the sticks. Drop the sticks. Tens are endings. Why is seven of swords here? Why is seven of swords here? World reverse. Empress reversed. Take off. They come back. It's a never ending story. Why the Empress? Oh gosh, devil reversed. I'm not going to ask why that Empress reversed is here because I know why she's here. The devil reversed is at the bottom of the deck because you need to break free of whatever this is because this is like a never ending cycle. It's not going to grow. I know you miss them. But deep down, you know this is not good for you. And sometimes we, we, oh gosh. Sometimes we stay or go back to toxic situations because it's comfortable. And we think it's going to be different the next time around. It's not. It's not. And sometimes we repeat the same ugly cycles with different people. Happiness must come from within. You have to fill your own nine cups. You got to break free from this toxic whatever this is. Come to the edge. Number 36. I'm going to read it again. Courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now. 
if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take that risk is not cal <clears throat> now is time to take a risk that is not calculated to feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. Don't stay in a toxic situation where you are not happy because you are comfortable. Do not call these things back. If it left you, it was supposed to. Don't manifest it back. It's time to drop the sticks. It's not going to grow. It doesn't matter how many times you repeat the toxic cycle. Nothing's going to come of it that's good for you. Don't do this to yourself, baby. All right. I'm stepping on my soapbox now. I don't want to be the Debbie Downer reader. I don't want to be the doom and gloom lady, but darn it, I read the cards as I see them. Virgo. What do we have for Virgo? Go the distance. I didn't see it. No idea what it is. <clears throat> Go the distance, number forty seven for Virgo. Endurance, strength, the long haul. To bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. <clears throat> Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities, so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. Virgo. What do we got for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo tonight? Universe, Source, Spirit... Spirit guides, Heavenly Father, Mother Earth. What do we have for Virgo? Princess of Swords in the Upright. Fire, Earth, Air, Water, Speak Truth. The Moon in the Reverse. Communication. Things being illuminated. And communication being cut off or something being put to a halt. It's a little stalker Bob, by the way. Mm -hmm. Stalker Betty in this case. They know things. It's the great observer and the great messenger. It's the little narc of the tarot. Three of cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. You have the strength. If you're going to get through this, I felt compelled to say that. Why is the Princess of Swords here? The Fool. One more. Justice. The Fool and Justice. Well, that's cool. They're kind of like looking at this in the same direction. They're not 
paying attention, about to jump right off a cliff, though. Why justice? Could be a Libra. Could be an Aries. Also have Pisces hanging out. Fire and air. A little bit of water with this three of cups reversed. Strength reversed. Huh. Could be a legal matter. Draining is crap, though. Why is the moon reversed here? Talk to me about this moon reversed. Why is the moon reversed here? Why is the moon reversed here? Knight of Pentacles. Chair reversed. Something definitely coming to a dead stop. Walls going up. Things being illuminated. That's a distraction. That Knight of Pentacles is a distraction. Somebody over here is not paying attention about to walk right off a cliff. Facing opposite directions, too. You're going to feel like you don't have it in you, but you do have the strength to come back into balance, friends. All right. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed here? King of Pentacles. judgment at the bottom of the deck this does not feel love related this feels like legal related distractions buy-offs things coming to a halt things being illuminated cutoffs in communication people with their guard up people being drained this is a legal matter possibly a legal matter that's going to like divide friends judgment at the bottom of the deck somebody's going to, have to make a final judgment but this is weird virgo i don't know what you've gotten tangled up with but if it's yours take it 42 chop wood um definitely feels like there's no coming back from this whatever this is Being grounded in everyday experience, humility. There are times when the big dream is meant to lie dormant in your consciousness so that you can pay attention to the simple chores in your life. Consider why pruning a tree is the forerunner of delighting in the beautiful blooms when it is in full blossom. The mundane act of pulling the dead leaves, watering the soil, and then leaving it to be to let nature take its course is an important step in manifestation. 
taking your attention away from your goals brings you into a state of receptivity. This is the deeper purpose for releasing attachment. When you engage in everyday tasks in a meditative, contemplative way, you clear your energy to receive your aha moments, which brings you ever closer to what you seek. Don't stress over this. I feel like whatever this is, is going to resolve itself. But know what the distractions are and don't pay attention to what needs to be paid attention to, but don't stress because somebody's going to try to distract you. So you go off the cliff. I feel like somebody's distracting somebody with shiny stuff. I don't know. Whoever that's for. There you go, Virgo. I just read cards, guys. That's all I do. I just read the cards. That's all I do. I'm just having a good time. Oh. Libra. 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 Oh. I did not see the bottom one. So there we go. Imagine number 20. Turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning imaginary and feelings, creativity, illusions. Hold on. I'm being screamed at. Where was I? Who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in order to have the life you want? You were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief, and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. All right, Libra. I love it when death's the first card out. Eight of cups reversed. King of swords. The world at the bottom of the deck. Why is there a return card here? That's very interesting. Libra. You called game on something? That's a whole lot of cards. You called game with this death card. Something was allowed to die. It went into a cocoon so it could be reborn as something else. This world card here at the bottom says to me that a chapter ended so a new chapter could begin. King of Swords speaks truth. Right now, the only one that does not make sense to me is this Eight of Cups reversed. Can I get one of this Eight of Cups reversed, please? Wheel of Fortune. Something came back around or is coming back around. Oh, it's a card of manifestation. You manifested something back. Test from the universe, possibly.
something wants to stop you from moving forward. You can't stop death mid-cycle. Sorry, that's not how that works. Why is death here? Why is death here for Libra? Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Death. Nope. Cute fish in the cup, but nope. Something changed. Something changed. Can you stop a death cycle mid cycle? Something's trying to. I don't think you can stop a death cycle mid-death cycle. Maybe you're starting a new chapter with this person. I don't know. Why is King of Swords here? Don't go without me! They were in the reverse. They flipped into the upright. King of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. That's a big old cup of love. That's more than a page right there, yo. Why the Nine of Pentacles? They regret it. Deep regret. Speaking truth about deep regret. They have emotions. They have the feelings. They are overflowing. They have deep regret that they left you. They left too soon. You've manifested your goals and your dreams and you've done it. And now they're having regrets because they're afraid that you're not going to take the cup one more. So they're coming back and speaking truth. They're trying to stop this death cycle. They're trying to stop you from moving on. The devil. And strength. Could be a Leo. Could be a Capricorn. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Six swords at the bottom of the deck. You cannot stop a death cycle. You cannot stop progress. I don't care how good the sex was. Devil card, just throwing that out there. They're trying to tame you. They're afraid that you can't be tamed. They're afraid that they can't get you back. They're afraid it's too late. Breathe. Oh, uh, Libra, I guess it's up to you. Do you want him back? This feels like it was a little bit toxic. I mean, there's a reason why you got two death cards. It's supposed to end. You want to start a new chapter with him, go for it. But it's, you're just going to get a rerun. You want to put yourself through that again, go for it. It's not my journey, it's yours. I'm just reading cards. Breathe. Patience. Waiting. Going slowly. Wellness. Meditation. Trust. Patience in all things is called for right now. What do you need to do when you're in a rush? Slow down, of course. Meditate and trust. Breathe and repeat. Humans cannot exist without drawing breath. Now is the time to allow the life-giving element of air to replenish your body, your being, and your very essence. Stop to smell the roses. Breathe in the sunlight and release the darkness and miracles will appear. Breathe in the sunlight and release the darkness. You are strong enough. Oh, 
Are you the lion or are you the lady? You gotta ask yourself that. You wanna stay bound to this devil? Go for it. I'm not gonna tell you how to live. But it may be time, Libra, to let things end that need to end and cross those choppy waters into that scary place and move on. This barely ever happens. Seriously. Okay, Libra. On to the next. Scorpio! 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 Okay. We have a Scorpio tonight. What do we have for Scorpio tonight? What do we have for Scorpio tonight? I didn't see it. The Fates, number 17. Fate, karma, acceptance, that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. The serenity prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in your life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective, by nature, by your past experiences may be fated, preordained by spirit for a greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be the cards. It may not be in your cards to understand why events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with what those events. Oh my gosh. Sorry. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with what those events and your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer. Being a recovering addict and the daughter of an alcoholic. <laughs> God rest him. There was a, my dad had a glass mirror that had, um, it was a painted mirror that had the serenity prayer on it. So I grew up being familiar with that prayer and then going through the addiction recovery process, it, it's, I have it all over my house. I have the serenity prayer in every room in this house on a wall somewhere because I, every day, accept the things that you cannot change. <laughs> it's all you can do. Anyway, fun note about me. Scorpio. Seven of Wands reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. Oh, honey, no. The High Priestess reversed. The Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Do not go back there. For whoever this is for, 
Do not go back there. Do not shut down. Do not give in. Do not succumb. There is a light at the end of that tunnel. In your darkest hour, your longest, darkest night, the sun always comes up the next day. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here? Chariot reversed. Put them back. Oh, wow. Okay. The Sun and Temperance. I put two cards back. It, it shoved two more in my face. So we're, we're, uh, they will be addressed. They will be laid down. Calm. Peace. Know that there are angels at work. And everything's going to be okay. The sun will shine again. Some's got your chariot stopped or had it stopped. <sighs> Trains derailed. Could be literally, could be figuratively. Something's off course. Something's off track. Something's at a dead stop. There's conflict. There's a long dark night. Lovers, why are you here? There may be a Gemini involved. I also have Sagittarius and Leo on the board. And um, Pisces. Ten Pentacles. This had something to do with a close connection and or family. Someone you have a family with. Choices were made. Money, finances, something to do with money and finances. Oh, wow, Scorpio. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I feel like somebody's self-destructive decisions may have cost them their family or, or their marriage, possibly. I don't know. Close friend. The lover's card is so open-ended. Could be a spouse. Could be a dear friendship. I'm hearing choices were made. Choices were made. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Why is this Ten of Swords here? I was not expecting this out of the Fates card, let me tell you. Okay. You don't see it, but there is hope at the end of the day. You're clinging on to something painful. Stop it. The hermit. There are other far less self-destructive ways to process things. If your life is going to poop, I'm telling you right now, addiction ain't the way for whoever needed to hear that. Those little demons that be calling you? No. Please, no. And trust me, I know how hard it is. I know how hard it is. I, I, I will celebrate 21 years clean this year. I know how hard it is. 
And that was before my Dark Night of the Soul. Well before. You have it in you, Scorpio. You have it in you. It's going to be all right. Don't go back there. There's a light at the end of that tunnel. There's a new start at the end of that tunnel. You just have to get through the tunnel. But you have to let go of that pain. Drinking it away. Doing whatever it is you do away. Don't do it. Mm. Why is the high priestess reversed here? Nine of Pentacles reversed. <sighs> oh, I feel like you know which knight is which now. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed? I keep hearing choices were made. Choices were made. It's the party boy. That's party boy. Rides in, does whatever he's going to do, rides out. Doesn't hang out. This is the one that hangs out. This is the one with all the pentacles. Choices were made. And this is the acknowledgement of I screwed up. What do I do now? A road of self-destructive behavior is not the way to go. Yes, you started something. But that doesn't mean... You let your guard down. I'm hearing you let your guard down. You let your guard down. Innocent enough, but you sacrificed a lot. What has been done has been done. You cannot undo it. All you can do is move forward. You can't slide back into this. The moon. The moon. The moon. There's a lot of unknowns. Can I fix this? You can't undo what's been done. You can move forward. So what do you mean, can I fix this? You can repair or attempt to repair relationships. But I think right now you need to focus on you and working on you before relationships can be repaired. There's arguments and strife here. Cho I keep hearing choices were made. Choices were made. Bad choices were made. You know what those bad choices are now. That has been illuminated to you. There is a light at the end of this tunnel. There is angels watching over you, working for you. You got to pull yourself back together. You got to pull yourself back together. You got to breathe. Mending. 52. Mending. Wow. Oh, hallelujah. Forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal. The pain, the memories, the echoes, the resentments, and the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds, and letting go of old hurts in order to reclaim your power. Now is the time to forgive, to release, to make peace, and to make amends to others. Set yourself free. Scorpio, if, if this isn't you, if this is the person you're dealing with... Wow. So 
Sorry, I need a minute. I've been there too. Okay. I'm going to pause, get some coffee, and reset the cards, and I'll be right back with Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Clean it up. <laughs> You're not supposed to show yourself. Fine, between worlds. I guess Sagittarius gets a bonus. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see it. Sagittarius, what's going on? Oh, what are you doing, Faith? You gotta read them. Number 21. Get ahead of yourself. It just feels good to have cards in my hands again, guys. Getting to the core of a situation, freedom from a burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what no longer, what is, oh, sweeping away what is no longer needed. Ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't, that you can't think straight? Could you be surrounded by physical clutter in your home also? Work too much? Overwhelmed? Time to clean house. Every item out of place natters away at you. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that needs a sense of lack. Sorry. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack takes up energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds up to an unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now is time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. All right. Between worlds, number three. Maybe some of y'all just need clean house. Transitions not quite out of one situation, fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, no man's land. Between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place, between what was and what will be is a state of making and unmaking and making again. It is essential now. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is a great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery is not yours to understand. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life. Within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions, the seeds that were planted in the past must begin to take root. But what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are between worlds, you are invited to see with the curious eyes of a child glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so, and you will not be disappointed. going on Sagittarius hanged man I'm just gonna keep going I'm not saying a word Three of Cups.
Two of Wands. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's feelings here. Talk to me about this hanged man. Are we stuck? Or are we trying to see things from a new perspective? Chariot. It's forward movement. The tower. I'm going to dig a little deeper because it's Sagittarius. What happened? Obviously, something came crashing down the star. Okay, you're healing. You're healing. You're healing. You got a little energetic baggage you got to clean up. You got to clean a little house, Sagittarius. And what's up with the three of cups? Why the three of cups? It's a card. It's a happy card. It's a three on top of a three. It could be a third party situation. Queen of Swords. Okay. She cuts things out. She demands the truth and she speaks it. She cuts things out. Five pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You missed somebody. She speaks truth. She demands truth. She commands truth. Nothing but the truth. But she cuts people out. And that sword is sharp. It could be an air sign you're dealing with. Between worlds. Not quite out of something and going into another. The path is not lit. Two of Wands. There's a choice to make. Which path do I take? Which path do I take? Okay. Fire, thou want to speak truth. Two swords. No matter what you do, it's going to hurt. There's deep commotion. Deep commotion. Yeah, commotion. There's deep emotion connected to this. That's obvious. Let me pull one more. good being single with this nine of pentacles. I mean, you're good financially on your own. You don't necessarily need somebody in your life, but you're struggling with a decision that may not be your decision to make. No matter what decision you make, it's going to hurt. It's going to cut. Something's got to go. Something's got to give. It's more upside down than it's right side up. Paraffin reversed. Four of Wands. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes that Page of Swords tells us things we don't want to hear. Sometimes that Page of Swords watches you. It's the gatherer of information for the Queen. I think you know everything you need to know. There's communication coming in. You have to clean house before you make a decision. If somebody's struggling with a decision, you have to clean house. You're going to drag a bunch of crap into the next one. If you don't heal, 
and move forward from the tower because you're stuck. You're trying to see things from both sides, but you're stuck. You're stuck in that scary place where the tower fell. The tower's... It's on the ground. <laughs> the tower is gone. You can either rebuild it where, where the rubble is, or you can go somewhere else and build something bigger and better. That's probably a little sturdier and won't attract as many storms. And sometimes when we repeat old cycles, we attract storms, don't we? Sometimes when we rebuild towers in the same place, they fall down again. So maybe we need to make that painful decision to rebuild that tower somewhere else and to let something go that was, you know, possibly dear to our hearts. But you need to heal to move forward. And yes, it is unknown. And yes, it is scary. And the path is not lit. Cool thing about the moon, it only shines from the sun's reflection. Things look scarier than they really are in the moonlight. They really do. They look scarier than they really are. <sighs> Poised, number 48. Hmm. Number 48. Being ready, bringing something to light. Being your best confidence. You can be assured that you are ready for anything right now. You know what you need to do. Your skills are sharp. You've come to this place armed with wisdom and knowledge. Yes, you have, Sagittarius. And you sense a new phase in your life is about to begin. People respond to your confidence and trust you. This is an auspicious time to begin new things. You got to clean house first, Sagittarius. I know you think you're ready, but I'm going to say it one more time before I move on to Capricorn. If you don't clean this energetic out, you can't move forward. Capcorn. A higher power. I didn't see it. Number four. Conscious contact with a higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirits. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. Talk to me. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Fire, they'll want to speak truth. Oh, very nice. Princess of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck.
Eight of Pentacles, hard work, discipline, Seven of Cups, temptations and choices, and the star healing. Dumping one on the earth and one in the water. Because when you heal, you have to dump everything out and refill your own cups. Out with the bad so the good can come in. That is part of healing. Yes, friends. Yes, friends. Okay. Probably a good time when you're healing. That That's a great time to get in contact with Source, by the way. It, it's, it's a great way to heal. To get in touch with your higher power. All right. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Anxiety revolving around work. Something you put a lot of work into. Ten cups reversed didn't pan out. Sometimes when anxiety overwhelms us, we get in our own way. Why is Seven of Cups here? High Priestess, speaking of Source. Speaking of Source. King of Swords. He's very logic driven. He's the great thinker. He doesn't let emotions get in his way. But he's not much for intuition either. He makes logical choices. This is intuition, like the embodiment of intuition. This is knowing without knowing. Choices. Why is the star here? That's great. Misadventures. Something didn't pan out. You got to heal from it. You got to bounce back. One more. This feels very work related. The magician makes all things possible. He has all the tools he needs to manifest whatever he wants. This is a stunning offer. This could be an offer for a new job. I just dropped a half a deck of cards. I'll pick them up. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to keep going. You have to heal. You have to bounce back. You have to dump out the bad so the good can fill the cups. Something didn't pan out. Something didn't go the way you wanted it to go. And that's part of life. If I would have only listened to my intuition, why didn't you? If I wasn't so darn logical, then don't be. It's what having a leap of faith, that's the leap of faith. <laughs> that's trusting that you will be directed and guided. Don't overthink it. Three cups at the bottom of the deck. Celebrate what you do have. Go the distance, number 47. Number 47. Go the distance. Oh, Capricorn. Endurance, strength, the long haul. 
To bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities, so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. Remember that. Don't overthink it. You will be directed and divinely guided to where you're supposed to go. And you have the endurance and the strength to carry you through. But don't overthink it. Celebrate what you do have. Even the smallest opportunities can have the biggest rewards. Keep working. Okay, I gotta pause and pick these cards up. And then I will go to Aquarius. Aquarius. Talk to me, Wisdom Oracle. Oh, hi. Clean it up again? Really? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Sagittarius just got this. I'm going to read it again, though, in case people, like, don't watch the whole thing. Uh, 21. Getting to the core of a situation, freedom from a burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what is no longer needed. Ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight? Could you be surrounded by physical clutter in your home also? Work too much? Overwhelmed? Time to clean house. Every item out of place natters around you. Every unresolved resentment... Every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack takes up energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds up to an unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now is the time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. All right. Pardon me. Let's pull your go card. Oh. I didn't see it. All right. Still reading with the heaven and earth. Talk to me for Aquarius. What's going on, Aquarius? Wheel of Fortune reversed. Chariot reversed. Fire of the water speak truth. Knight of Wands. Six pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Well, you're stuck in a cycle that you desperately need to move forward from, that's for sure. Definitely need to do some energetic house cleaning here with this Wheel of Fortune reversed and the Chariot reversed. I don't know what this Knight of Wands is all about, though. I don't know if this is a person, situation, could possibly lead to a situation ship. God, I love those. All right, talk to me about the Wheel of Fortune reversed, please. Fire throw, oh gosh. Really? Why is everybody getting the Nine of Swords tonight? Everybody's getting the Nine of Swords. Unresolved anxiety? Well, yeah, energetic house cleaning. Every unresolved resentment. What's still keeping you up at night? Oh boy. Well, that's a whole lot of information. It's 
stop worrying about what should have been said. Somebody needs to stop worrying about what should have been said. What should have been or what could have been or what would have been do not matter. I mean, they matter. Okay. They don't matter. It's then. You're in the now. And if you're not in the now, you need to move into the now. You're the only one keeping this Wheel of Fortune upside down at this point. You have the power to move forward. Something tells me somebody's choosing not to. You're stuck in a rerun. Why is the chariot reversed here? Why the chariot reversed? Nine wands. Five cups. Try to even the energies out a bit. Seven pentacles. The chariot reversed. You're stuck in a cycle. If I wait long enough, no. No. If I keep my walls high enough, no. No. If I shed a few more tears, no. No. No, Aquarius. No. You have to shed some energetic crap and get yourself back in balance. You're the one keeping this out of balance at this point. I don't want to be that person. We can start over. It hasn't ended yet. How do you expect to start something over if you haven't let something end? You're stuck. You're bogged down with this energetic crap. You got to clean house. You got to let the cycle end. All right, kick it up a notch with this Knight of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Oh, whoa, 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 Page of Wands. Magician reversed. Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Magician reversed here? Three of Pentacles. Really? Some of you have been hanging out for a minute know that when I start hearing songs in my head, that is my dad talking to me. He's been passed on six years now. I don't want to steal your freedom. I don't want to change your mind. Something's coming. It's not going to hang out long, but it's definitely going to get you out of this rut if you allow it to. Would I ever suggest that someone get into a situation ship? No, but it might not be a bad thing this time around to just see what happens and see where things go. Because it could be the beginning of something beautiful. But that magician reversed. Three of swords reversed is at the bottom of the deck. It might not hang out long. It might not be available long. It's available now. Five of Pentacles. Seven Cups. I'm hearing you're not going to do it because you're still hung up on this. 
Not sure what path to take. Ace of Wands reversed. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. Why would I start something that isn't going to go anywhere? Why not? Aquarius, you overthink things too much sometimes. Devil reversed. You have to get unbound from this. You have to clean house from this. There's something coming that could be good for you. Bring you back into balance. Have a little fun. Even if it doesn't go anywhere. I'm, I'm not saying, like, play the field, play the field, know what I'm saying? I'm not saying get yourself into a situation ship. Be careful. Could it potentially end up being a situation ship? Yes, but possibly a slightly manipulative person, not the most holy of intentions, but you got to energetically clean house from whatever this is because you're not moving forward. Sometimes, and I, I like to think of this as the karmic balance card, the universe brings people into our lives to get us unstuck from crap. Sometimes the universe throws us placeholders that will eventually leave our lives when they got to leave and make room for who's supposed to be there. There's a hole for somebody who hasn't been there in a while. And you're stuck. So you got to get unstuck. You have to get unbound. Building blocks. Number 28. I rambled there for a minute. Sorry. Sometimes it takes a second. Strong foundations. A beautiful work in progress. You have everything you need to cultivate an extraordinary life. This is the time when your focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon. Your work, your relationships, your very being are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core beliefs. Are they still true for you? Will they stand the test of time and serve as the solid grounding upon which you construct your life? Now you are making changes that will affect everything in a positive way. Your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. It's your call, Aquarius. Do what you want. I'm just reading cards. If you want to stay stuck, go for it. If you don't want to have a pointless connection, I, and I shouldn't say pointless connection. There's no such thing. Every connection, big or small, that changes your life, steers you in the direction you're supposed to go, has a point to it. And I am the queen of dead-end relationships. But they steered me down the path I was supposed to be on, so I'm not complaining. Okay. Pisces. One more and we're done. Wow. Pisces. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. If I did, I will... Do a special for anybody I miss. I get interrupted a lot. Sorry, I'm a mom. It happens. And I'm usually in bed by 9 o'clock at night, and we're going on 11, so. Message in a bottle, number 15. I didn't see it. Number 15. Pisces. Communication, a sign, a cleodon, the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker. Pointing the way to your highest good. Spirit sends you signs when you ask for them, when you believe you will receive them, and when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens. They come to you as a bird flying by a logo on a truck, and a song on the radio. 
expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your eyes open for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today your message is this, spirit hears you and the reply is favorable. Okay. All right, Pisces, what are we doing? Messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. King of Swords reversed. <laughs> Why is everybody getting the Ten of Swords? Star reversed. Princess of Cups at the bottom of the deck. My goodness. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords reversed here? Why is the King of Swords reversed here? Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. One more. Five of Swords. You went your separate ways. I never got off the ground. Okay, so why the anxiety? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Four of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. There's regrets. There's anxiety, there's regret. Could involve a Leo. The sun just card just came out. Huh. Why is this star here? Five of Wands. Okay. That makes sense now. You know, eventually you have to heal from this. It was an impossible choice. You couldn't decide. You couldn't decide. You went your separate ways. You couldn't decide. It 
It's like I'm happy, but I'm not. Somebody wants to come back in with a cup. Or you want to give somebody a cup. You're anxious because you thought with your heart and not your head. One more on the star reversed. A conflict brought things to an end. A conflict closed a chapter. King of Pentacles reversed Four of Swords. Something had to be laid to rest. Ooh. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Potential for a new. Oh, Pisces. What happened? Oh, honey. There was conflict. Fighting, squabbling. You fought, okay. Just because you fight all the time doesn't mean you chose the wrong person. Doesn't mean you made the wrong choice. And I don't think you fight all the time, but I think when you fight, you fight. <laughs> There's passion here, but it's very childlike. I think somebody has tendencies. There's overwhelming love, but there's tendencies. And I think the person you chose brings you a great deal of anxiety. They're not who they said they were. You want to start over again with somebody? Somebody that tried to hand you a pentacle? Somebody that you didn't pick? Huh. Never ending story number 37. That's fun. Self criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. Oh, wow. There is a story woven through the imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss, rejection and humiliation, self loathing and arrogance and all manner of suffering born of unnecessary dramas. It is the old story whose refrain that you cannot do this, must not go there, should not do that, lest your world come crumbling down. Today, know that none of this is actually true. The sky is not falling. The voice you hear is just a small, scared, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie, wants to protect you, and needs to be seen as a victim. Love that lost piece of you. Fear is all it knows. Distorted guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself. You are not your story. And the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part. Small and vulnerable and easily soothed. Might be time to start a new chapter, Pisces. That was deep. That took a minute. I, I, I had to analyze that. It's like, whoa, what? 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 You did what? Who did what? What? Doesn't matter who did what. We all have choices in life. It is what it is. All right, gang. It's late. I'm tired. I'm gonna, as you can see, I pulled my hair up into a messy bun at some point. Okay. I'm gonna crash. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Sorry if it was so long-winded. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you in the next. Namaste, friends.